Hi everyone, welcome to Value. So as we all know, uh, Baru had their pre-EUA meeting yesterday and it's gone really well. They just put out an announcement and their market's already reacting. Like it has not been out for that long and the market's already in the pre-market up 24%. It looks like it's likely to be up a lot more because this is really, really positive news. Like if appeal got in yesterday, they're so lucky. Their state of timing couldn't have been better. They got in a really, really good price. Um, and yeah, like stock has just been trending downwards lately. So this is brilliant news. Like let's look into what they said. Like the company just put this out and basically it says FDA states that Vru should submit requests for emergency use authorization. So you have the FDA telling them they should submit an application because basically they'll put this based on positive efficacy and safety data from phase three clinical study of sabuzolin in hospitalized COVID-19 patients. So FDA is actually really happy with the data. Uh, whereas um, not too long ago we had that Culpa report that was scrutinizing all the data and everything. But no, FDA is happy. So it's really, really good to hear that, you know. Um, it kind of just takes away those worries that a lot of people had. Uh, it still means they're going to scrutinize the data. So it's not it's not a clear approval. But the company itself seems to be very confident. Uh, there's a few sentences in this announcement that kind of signals extreme confidence by the company. So FDA agrees that no additional efficacy studies or safety data are required to support a request for EUA. So they're quite happy with the data, like um, everything looks quite good. Um, a request for EUA is planned for submission in calendar 2Q uh, in the second quarter of 2022. Company plans to meet with US and ex-US government officials to discuss Avant purchase agreements. So uh, the company is taking this as a clear sign that this is you know, a good go to do this, you know, like their approval is very likely and that they should basically start discussing agreements. Like that is, that in itself is like just fireworks there. Like they have basically, from that meeting, that, that the, um, whatever the FDA said to them, it must have been so positive that they've just gone out and said, yeah, let's go make those agreements, um, which is pretty, pretty and really, really good, you know. Uh, FDA agreed that phase three COVID-19 study that was stopped by an independent data monitoring committee for overwhelming efficacy is sufficient to support the efficacy proportion of a request for EUA submission and for an NDA submission. So, you know, it's, it was not quite approved yet, but, you know, like, a lot of overwhelming kind of support for it uh, seems to be there um, because if they if they don't feel like they need to scrutinize the data then I guess that's at the end of the day like that's probably the most important part about it that if the FDA is happy with the data then you know it seems like a really really a uh, good go-to you know that uh, approval has there's a very strong chance of approval you know, nothing's 100%, so we can't say anything's guaranteed, but it seems like there's a likely chance that the company gets an approval, uh, which is going to be amazing. The company plans to submit a request for e for an EUA application in calendar 2Q, uh, second quarter of 2022. The company has scaled up manufacturing processes and will be able to produce commercial drug supply to address anticipated drug needs following potential FDA authorization in US and subsequent authorization in other countries and regions. So yeah, like that they're, they're going about this with a lot of confidence. Oh like a lot. Like they're looking at agreements, they're Pro, they're basically looking at uh, increasing their supply so that they can meet these agreements. Um, so whatever was said in this meeting, it was super, super positive. And then you have this. The company has initiated talks with government agencies to, dis 
to discuss government purchases of Switzerland in the US and other countries around the world. So yeah, like they're discussing uh, this or of governments um, in the US and around the world already. So yeah, you gotta say it, ex it must be extremely positive what the FTA said to them. And yeah, like this year price is just gonna rocket. Like I envy the people who brought in at literally that closing price yesterday of like below eight dollars in the seven dollars seven seventy nine. Imagine that. Imagine that lucky person that just brought at that. And then today the announcement comes out, and it's super good. Like this, the signals are there that FDA is happy with the data. They're talking with government agencies. They're scaling up their uh, supply. Um, and yeah, like, I think the market's just going to love this announcement. And we're going to see a massive, massive boost in the stock price. I don't know how much because um, I don't know how much the market's going to love this. They're going to love it a lot. But who knows how much they're going to love it. Like, this, if this is, you know, approved, this is a multi-billion dollar company. Um, so that's to put into perspective because right now we're at $623 million in market valuation. So there's a long way to go up for this company because if this approval comes through, uh, which looks like the FDA is, you know, giving them the benefit of the doubt and there's a very high chance of it being approved uh, based on this meeting, at least that's how management feels anyway, uh, then yeah, like things look very, very rosy with the company. Um, mind you, nothing's guaranteed yet because this was just a pre-meeting um, and they still have to submit the application and get everything uh, processed. Everything probably will be uh, checked in a more thorough kind of way. But yeah, like um, you got to be, if, as a shareholder of this company, or potential shareholder, uh, you would ha you would have to say like we're taking a lot of really good signs from this. The management has taken a lot of good signs, so yeah, like um, you know, I'm kind of lost for words a little bit because it seems like a very very nice thing that's actually happened. Like markets have not been so positive lately, so when you've got a company that's just performing really well. Uh, especially when you've been reading those short reports, those short reports did not seem um, nice and friendly and I'm glad that the company has come through, the management has come through um, and things are looking brighter uh, so if you're just like hopping in and just realizing that there's an announcement go read it um, and you know enjoy those positive snippets in that announcement because it, uh, it's looking really good um, and yeah, like I think just just the positive momentum is likely going to be back in the stock, and it's likely not going going over ten dollars for sure. Um, if it doesn't, I'll be kind of yeah, I, I, I would find that weird because it's a really really good announcement, and yeah, like I could definitely see this company being a multi billion dollar company once that approval comes through. Um, yeah, and yeah, like I've. Yeah, I think probably I'm extremely happy of the announcement. So n nothing else more that I could say. We've gone through the announcement. If you got any questions, post below. Until then, um, good luck investing, everyone. And yeah, like uh, I know you'll probably be watching the, the, the when this trades, and it'll probably be quite nice because it's going to be a very very green day for Vero anyway. I uh, don't know about the rest of the market because. Um, it's not been great lately on the market, but apart from that, uh, we're all good. Uh, well, we'll see how things go. All right, good luck and missing everyone.